Hey, I'm Shireen Kassam with MyPainCenter.com. Hey, today I'm going to talk to you about Delta 8, but specifically the Sativa blend of Delta 8. I did a video a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, two months ago, on my experience using Delta 8 Indica. And a lot of people wanted to know about the Sativa blend, so today I'm going to try our Sativa blend. Our Sativa blend right now comes in an orange flavor, mango, cherry, and apple. Those flavors are subject to change. So I'm going to talk to you about the difference between Indica and Sativa, and I'm also going to tell you what really is Delta 8. But in order to save time, because I want you guys to see what this makes me feel like, I'm going to go ahead and take this, and then we can start talking about it. So it is 10.30 a.m. I've actually been up for a couple hours, and I haven't really done anything today. Um, I'm, I've been feeling a little out of it. Like, like I slept well, but I'm just like, I just don't care. Like I just don't want to do work. I'm just exhausted. Like I want to go on a vacation forever. Like I'm feeling anxious. I can tell because I keep clenching my jaw and grinding my teeth. I haven't taken my daily dose of CBD yet this morning because I knew I was going to take this. We have these little sample packs on our site, mypaincenter.com. So I'm going to take the Delta 8 Sativa blend um, in the Orange Crush flavor. This has 25 milligrams of Delta 8 in it. Now I'm going to say this. If it's your first time taking Delta 8, um, start with half a gummy or even a quarter of a gummy. Start small. You can feel high and stoned and ang anxious and paranoid with Delta 8, so start small. Know what brand you're buying. Be very careful on the brand you're buying. Um, some of the brands that people were giving to me, I couldn't even find them. I don't know where they got them from. Um, there was no website or anything, so I don't know the reliability of them. So be careful on the brand you're buying and then the milligrams that you're taking. So this is 25 milligrams. So when I first started taking these, I started with half, um, just to make sure, like, to see how I would feel. So, but today for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and take the whole one so you can see the journey, okay? Again, this is 25 milligrams. This is what it looks like. It's a square um, so that it doesn't get confused with regular gummy bears. So if you have children, hopefully they don't get into it. I also want to point out the, the cap is childproof, um, so you can't just open it. So you just, you have to, like, press down and turn. Okay, here we go. It's chewy. It has an orange taste. You can definitely taste the orange flavor. You don't taste any like weed flavor. You don't taste any hemp, like grass or anything. <laughs> or you know that weed taste that sometimes you get. It's sweet. It's definitely one of the better ones I've tasted. You can tell that there is something in it though because there is a there's an aftertaste, like a bitter aftertaste. It's not it's not awful, but you know that there's something in it because it's not a smooth ending, but still not hempy. So it's about 10 30, 10 33 now. Um, I'll be back in an hour to tell you guys how I feel. But just before I leave, I'm I'm just gonna quickly tell you what is Delta 8 if you're new. I do have another video out about Delta 8, so check that out. But Delta 8 is kind of like a lower end of Delta 9, but a higher end of CBD. So it kind of sits in the middle. So you've got CBD, Delta 8, Delta 9. Now, Delta 9 is what's the THC in weed or marijuana. And so in a lot of states, it's considered illegal still. Delta 8 is legal um, in most states. There's a few states where it's not legal, so check. And then you've got CBD, which is legal in all 50 states. Now, Delta-8 is legal because it comes from the hemp plant versus Delta-9 THC, which is illegal in most states, comes from the marijuana plant. And so today we're going to focus on Delta-8. Now, Delta-8 and Delta-9 kind of act the same way. They both help with the same things in a way, right? They both are really good for pain, sleep, anxiety, upset. Delta-8 is supposed to be less potent than Delta-9 THC, which is the weed THC. I'm just going to call it weed THC. So Delta-8 is less potent. It's supposed to be less potent than weed THC. However, I'm going to caveat this. It can be potent. If you take too much of it or you take it from a brand that is not reliable or trustworthy or you're not sure what is in that product. Also, do not drive while you're on Delta-8 um, because it can make you high or stoned or intoxicated. And if you get pulled over, even though it's legal, they can still do whatever they want to do in terms of arresting you or pressing charges or writing you up for driving under the under being intoxicated. Okay, so just be careful. Um, what is the difference between Indica and Sativa? So 
probably really important to say. So I did a video on Indica. Indica is people call it in the bed to give you a sense of relaxation, right? It's supposed to be really good for sleep. And then Sativa, which is the one I just tried, is really good for daytime use. Um, it's supposed to be uplifting, give you energy, make you more creative. Um, so we're gonna check back in in an hour and I'm gonna tell you if I'm feeling a little bit more creative or at least energetic because like right now I'm just feeling blah. Like I kind of wish I could just lay in bed and watch TV all day, but I can't. Okay, with all that said, I will see you back in one hour. Okay, I'm back. It is now 11.37. I actually, like, no lie, didn't want to come back up and do this. I was, like, feeling so good. I mean, I'm still feeling good, but, like, I was in the zone. I did more work in the last hour than I did all morning. Um, it was, like, amazing. I was like, oh, do I really have to stop and go back up there and tell them how I feel? But I feel, like, really good. I'm really relaxed. I, my jaw has stopped hurting. I, ha I guess for the last hour I haven't clenched my jaw or grinded my teeth. You would think I should know that, but I don't. Um, I guess it's so subconscious when I do it. I don't know it until I get the pain. Um, I just feel mellow. Like, I just feel everything's going to be all right. Like, everything's going to be okay. And that vacation will come soon enough. Okay, so it's actually 6.30 in the evening now. Um, <clears throat> so it's been eight hours since I took the gummy and seven since I checked in with you guys. I lost track of time, y'all. Um, I really got into the zone. I was so productive. My goodness. I was impressed with myself. I was still hyper-focusing, which I loved. Actually, it was weird. I wasn't, like I was saying before, I'm a multitasker, and I was able to just stick with one one like task or one idea and just stick with it and like not get distracted. Um, I did some writing, which was really cool because I've had these thoughts in my head to write down for like scripts and jokes. Um, and it was like stream of conscious writing too. It wasn't like I was filter filtering my thoughts, um, made dinner, um, did the dishes, which was a huge accomplishment because it's been a couple days. Um, definitely feel way more relaxed, not anxious. Again, my jaw is not hurting. I'm not um, clenching my jaw. I'm grinding my teeth. Um, I definitely, definitely feel relaxed and I'm excited to see if I will sleep well with this or if it'll keep me up at night. Um, other than that, yeah, I will let you guys know in the morning how I feel, but right now I feel great. Hey, so it's the next morning. I really wanted to give you guys hour by hour updates yesterday, but I was just feeling so in it, like so focused and relaxed and I was just getting so much done that I didn't want to like interrupt what I was doing to come up here and talk to you guys. And I know that's really bad, but that's how much in the zone I was and how like I was just feeling it. Like I just didn't want to interrupt that feel, if you know what I mean. Um, but I was feeling great. Like into the afternoon, I was feeling great into the evening. I could start, I felt it starting to wear off around 637, but it was still there. Like even when I went to bed at 9, 930, um, I was still like happy. Like not happy, like happy, but like energetically high kind of like I didn't want to go to bed even though I needed to go to bed. And I know I had a really good sleep and I know I had a great sleep because I know when I've had a, I'm in it to win it when I have a struggle getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Like when my mind is having a debate with my bladder, like, do we really need to do this? And then it's like this, it's, it's like you, you can't get up, like you're really struggling to get up to go to the bathroom and I was having that problem yesterday and so I know I had a really deep sleep. But what was great is like when I woke up this morning, like I woke up not groggy, I woke up like ready to go, I feel ready to go, I mean I'm gonna go work out, I just feel way more energetic and ready to be productive and live my life today than I did yesterday. Um, and so I feel great with this gummy bear, taking this gummy today or yesterday and then seeing how it's affecting me today too. Um, so I definitely suggest it. It's funny, some guy has been texting me um, who saw my YouTube video and then he bought some sativa gummies as well and he took his sativa gummy yesterday for the first time and he wrote me, he goes, um, well first he asked me what's my suggestion on how to take it. I said start with half. Then today he said, he, was, he, he emailed or he texted me at 8 in the morning. He said, oh my god, the sativa gummies delivered the energetic buzz I was looking for. Definitely ordering more. Thank you so much. Um, he said he took a whole one, a whole gummy. It was like an energetic weed high without being paranoid. I know some of you are gonna be like, "You got paranoid taking weed? You can't get paranoid. You must be taking a cheap brand of weed." Okay, some of us get paranoid when we take weed. Just leave it at that. Okay, y'all. 
He says, I started feeling the effects within 30 minutes and felt the full effects in an hour. So that's about right because I felt mine yesterday at about 20 minutes in. He says, um, I have to be clear headed to do my job. And these sativa gummies help me to wake up refreshed and clear. He said, and then he kind of gave me TMI. He said, by the way, also had hot sex an hour and a half after taking the gummy. Just like a weed high, the sativa gummy intensifies the sensations. It intensifies everything, making it that much better. I can't agree or disagree with this statement because I don't know, but I would love to hear the rest of y'all's thoughts on that one. Basically, if, you, if you're looking for something to heighten your sensation, make you more creative, more productive, give you clear-headed benefits, help you sleep really well, the sativa gummy is what to try. So definitely take a try, see if you like it. Again, start with a half a gummy, um, just see where you are and enjoy it. And then I will be in the comment section. So if you have any questions, concerns, feedback, just let us know in the comment section and I'll get back to you. The next video I'm gonna do is Delta 8 with CBD. What does that feel like in a gummy bear? So hope you tune into that one too. Until then, take care.